fans, welcome to CZW No Disqualifications. You're going to see some of the best bouts of CZW with no DQs. That means you can't be counted out. If you use a foreign object, it's okay. You're going to watch the Beaver Boys versus Team Tremendous versus the Young Bucks versus Ohio is for Killers, and there's no DQ. And here come the Beaver Boys. In the front, that's number one, Alex Silver, flanked by his big brother, Rex, and uh, his tag team partner, Alex Reynolds, also known as yours truly. There's the pectoral Poseidon, doing a little uh, speed bag work on the breast there. John Silver, an amazing talent, Alex Reynolds as well. And there goes the pectoral Poseidon, as some people like to call him. Rex Lawless, just a monster of a man. Their insurance policy. And there goes number one, Johnny Silver. Just flexing away. And here comes the second team, Team Tremendous, escorted by Dick Justice to the ring. Team Tremendous, these are uh, two detectives, Dan Barry, Bill Carr, Bill Carr right there, um, you know, who, who moonlight as pro wrestlers and, um, and stand-up comics, to be quite honest. Uh, Dan Barry, if you've never seen him live, please go check out his act. He's hilarious. Oh, oh don't bump your partner. Please don't like being bumped into. Dick Justice, the deputy. And again, these guys, don't let their uh, kind of antics and silliness fool you. They are tremendous, tremendous professional wrestlers. And I've got to also say, um, three of the nicest guys you'll ever meet in pro wrestling. Again, until they're kicking your face off. I feel like I say this every time I'm joining you guys here for CZW. Are you ready for a big down? And here goes perhaps the most prolific tag team of the 2010s. Uh, this is Matt and Nick Jackson, the Young Bucks. Uh, you know, fresh off of New Japan Pro Wrestling, back to the United States to have a super kick party. And it looks like they might be trying to have one early. Leave our, leave our, leave our camera guys alone, guys. Members of the Bullet Club, as you see on their jackets. Japan's premier wrestling, <laughs> that close to killing a camera guy. I don't know why that's important to you, but um, apparently it is. But the Young Bucks, again, really one of the most prolific tag teams that has ever graced any wrestling ring anywhere in the world. Again, two junior heavyweights who compete in the heavyweight division because they're that damn good. And now we see perhaps uh, the craziest men, two brothers, used to be known as the Irish Airborne, now known as Ohio is for Killers, OI4K. This faction also includes uh, Jake's wife, there's Jake uh, in the red, Dave in the black, uh, tops I'm talking about. You know, uh, Nevea, that is Jake's wife, and Sammy Callahan, the death machine, as some people like to call him, also known as the draw. But right now, the draw is OI4K defending their CZW Tag Team Championships in a four corners tag team match with no disqualifications.
Reynolds hits ropes. There's Shuey Alex Reynolds being oh. set up and over. And down, taking everyone out. Oh, and Bill's got that look in his eyes. And he might have a weak stomach, but he does not fear flying. He's got Johnny Silver. He's got that sawed-off monster in his hands. Shoots him up. Oh! Into that flatliner by Dan Barry. Two and... Oh, only a two count. Team Tremendous made their official CZW debut roughly a year ago to the date. Look at this. Oh! Big German suplex from Johnny Silver to Bill Carr. And that sawed-off monster taking out Bill Carr. Oh, OI4K. Taking out Dan Barry in the corner. There are bodies everywhere. Johnny Silver now stomping away on the heart of Dan Barry. Dan Barry's feet powers him into the corner here. Tagging up to Alex Reynolds. The Beaver Boys have the ring cut off here. Working away on Detective Dan. Snap mares him over. Does Alex Reynolds. Oh, next snapper. And the cover hooks the leg. Dan Barry getting that shoulder up, breaking up the count. This match is one fall to a finish. The first team to make a pinfall will become the new CZW World Tag Team Champions. Tandem maneuver right there. Took Dan Barry down the cover, only good for two. Oh, big chop. Dan Barry setting him out a comeback here, hits the ropes. Oh, cut off by Dave Chris in that single footed drop kick. Going for a cover, but only getting two. As you saw, they tagged themselves in. And smartly keeping the young bucks at bay. This new attitude, I guess, brought on by their new representation, JT Davidson, has been proven successful thus far. Now, look at this. Jake Crist with that elevated fireman's carry position. A Finley roll on Dan Barry. Hooks the leg. Two in. Good for two. Chin lock applied. Up and Dan Barry to his feet. Certain tags being utilized by the Chris brothers. Dave Chris high atop the combat oh, zone. A sent on on a standing Dan Barry. Pin broken up. Oh, this kicks the road. Powers him into the Beaver Boys corner. And Alex tag Reynolds made. tagging himself in. Line tag made by Alex Reynolds now, who's stomping away on Dan Barry. And Dan Barry to his feet. That's really smartly keeping Dan Barry in his corner with Johnny Silver. Without any further blind tags. And the Beaver Boys have done the best job of cutting off the ring. Dan Barry here, Gaman Geary, takes the Johnny Silver out of commission. Now climbing the ropes is Dan Barry. As Alex Reynolds looking to fight him off. Oh, oh wow! Frankensteiner from the top rope. Dan Barry to Alex Reynolds. Barry's got to get the Bill Carr now. And you can see the Young Bucks reaching in for some tags. They're about, they're rested now after, after what's going on. And Bill Carr, a house of fire, opening up on both members of the Beaver Boys. Sends Alec Reynolds into the corner. Charges in. Jake Chris tagging corner himself splash. in. Exploder suplex from Bill Carr. Jake Chris from behind. Well, both members of OI4K in the ring right now. Look at this. Bill Carr fighting them off. Bill Carr, the biggest man in this match by far. Dan Barry taken out at ringside. And you see Dick Justice giving, giving chase to Johnny Silver's little brother, Rex. Sweeps the arm away. This Bill Carr and nails him with a double clothesline. Bill Carr tagging in the Young Bucks. Matt and Nick Jackson in. Taking out OI4K. Here from the 16th anniversary. Back 
kick sends him up. Wow. A drop kick on both members of the line, 4K. Uh-oh. Looks like we're about to get a super kick party. They're tuning oh. in. Still got on the outside on the Beaver Boys. Throws that shoulder tackle. Vaults over into that face buster. And now Matt Jackson. Here we go. He's got him up. Power oh, ball in the corner man. with Anzaguri. And they're not done yet. They got Jake Chris draped over that second rope. And here comes Nick. The Swanton bomb the cover. One, two, and New champions right there, the Young Bucks. There it is. They called for it. Oh, super kick. All the leg caught. Oh, into the face of his brother. Oh, super kick. Oh, man. It's a Gurry. Super kick. Bill Carr with a big boot. Now Shreddles now a super kick of his own. Oh, my goodness. Oh, legs under twine. Jake was here. I think the indoor super kick record was just broken here at New Heights. If there was a super kick drinking game and we were playing, we'd be smashed. We'd be done. We'd be slurring the rest of this this play-by-play. Well, Rex Lawless Silver now interjecting himself into the match. That is a big, big man. Yes, it is. Well, look who else is interjecting himself. There's Dick Justice serving some justice to Rex Lawless Silver. Snap jabs on everybody. What is Dick Justice doing? He's taking everyone out. The All American Hero even taking out Dan Barry. Oh, he's taking out Bill Carr. Oh, he's fired up. Uh oh. So, yeah. man. Record definitely smashed now. And the fans are erupting. Shot the midsection of Johnny Silver, who's then ejected. I'm not even sure who's even the legal man at this point. Oh, I don't think anybody does. I, I believe I just saw Nick Papa Giorgio just throwing his arms in the air. That's about right. The ropes. Oh, double back elbow from Dan Barry and Dave Chris. Hit the ropes. The first to come back into the ring, bringing Dave Chris with them. Just imagine if the Young Bucks win, they're going to be bringing the titles to Japan with them. He's now keeping the legs out. He's got his knuckles locked up off the second. And out of nowhere! The midsection of Jake Chris. Coast to coast, puts on the brakes to catch. Uh-oh, what is this? Looks up a slingshot into a boot. He's prone across the knees now. We've seen it before. Oh, and that tiny stop on the face. And now Team Tremendous back into the ring. Now Dan Barry, short arm reversal into the corner. Jake Chris charges and catches the boot. Dan Barry up top. Implant DDT on the top. Oh, the big oh. boss man slam. And now Team Tremendous looking good here. Bill Carr utilizing that stereotypical. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here we go. Here we go. Here comes. Big shot. Dan Barry did not like that toss. Oh, pump kick. What's this now? He's got him up. Jeez. Oh, man. Wow. Takes him into the corner and caught with the single footed drop kick for good measure. He's got him up. Power bomb. Center of the ring. That sawed off monster. Out at one big clothesline from Bill Carr. Yeah, well, that's not a sawed off monster. It's a full fledged monster right there in Bill Carr. Oh, kick, kick midsection. Bill setting it up. Wow! Destroyer! Oh! Double super kicks! Oh, no. Oh, could it be? Could it be? In a bad way. 
Dan Barry hooking it up as well. What is this? No way. No way. That just happened. Double Meltzer driver. Oh, they're hooking it up. Save. Charge it all. Oh, man. Catch his own brother with the gaming gear. And on the outside, they've Death made their way to the ring. Oh. The nation intoxication. It's Danny Havoc, Connor Claxton. Danny Havoc is all loaded up, chucking a beer in his head. Dead from behind with a kick to the back of the head. Wait a second. Oh, he's got him up. And no one would have ever thought it. I told you when we first started, don't doubt the boys that are dressed the funniest because these two men with the Bookum Dano have just become the Combat Zone Wrestling World Heavyweight Tag Team Champions. Dan Barry, Bill Carr, Mark Down This Day fans, you just saw it. Live history has happened. Dan Barry, Bill Carr, Team Tremendous, Tag Team Champions. As our referee, Nick Pompa Giorgio, gets out of the ring to let them celebrate after handing them the Tag Team Championship belts, these two men are, I'm sure, ecstatic and, and, and deservingly so. Again, these guys are... Words can't describe how crazy this is. Oh, oh, and the Bucks are back in the ring. I don't know if we're here for a super kick party. I might have to send this back to... Are they, are they trying to give the belts away? I think Dan Barry's, excuse me, Bill Carr's still confused. Bill, Dan saying, I'm keeping mine, slapping Bill, saying, hey man, we won these. I think everyone thought it was a foregone conclusion that the Young Bucks were gonna win, but they did not. And the Young Bucks, what sportsmanship? Nick and Matt raising the hands of Dan and Bill, just saying, you guys won. You are the CZW Tag Team Champions. A, a lineage that includes groups like The Rep, uh, The Blackout, uh, The Hate Club. I mean, just amazing, amazing names. If you are a fan of independent professional wrestling, all those names mean something to you, and they are dear to your heart. And now, joining that plethora of superstars is Team Tremendous Investigations, Bill Carr, Dan Barry. I, I, I think Dan is as shocked as everyone else. I hope that fits you, Bill. That's not an insult. Please don't hurt me. Yeah, he's not going to fit. That's, that's, that's what I was afraid of. It's, you're a man of uh, quite sizable girth. Um, again, very reminiscent of my eyes of the big boss man. Just the way he moves in that ring. Very, very uh, uh, talented professional athlete. And here comes Nick Justice. <laughs> a little late to the party. Party to the party, as they say. Fans, thank you. We're, we're only halfway done. This, this hour of Combat Zone Wrestling action. You are watching no disqualifications, and their team tremendous has had their hands raised in victory. Deputy Dick Justice joining them for the celebration this is amazing but fans uh, don't go anywhere we still got another half hour of action but right now um i'm, get, I'm getting word that we're going to go to the back we have some uh we have some comments from some of our competitors yes yes we've got some comments coming up from some of our competitors I, i'm i'm going to uh send it to the back guys uh it's on you well johnny tight didn't really go well. One of the biggest matches of the year, and we lost. We didn't get pinned, we didn't get submitted, but we're not CZW Tech. No. no, we're not. I hate Dick Justice. I hate him. Settle down. Settle down. All right. All right, all right. You it's know what? Tremendous. You guys have never, ever beaten us. Never not pinned once. us. Never submitted us to any company all over the world. Not once. We've wrestled you a hundred times. So while you may be enjoying your newly won CZW Tag Team titles... Remember we had the both. Yeah. We're not done with you guys. This isn't over. Not by a long shot. 
Yeah, you gotta grow bigger tits, man. Try it, bigger. Right? Hey. I want you up at least two cup sizes by the next show. I was distracted right. by your lack of tits. I'm pectoral Poseidon. I don't, don't give me no lip. You right, those right. tits, okay. and we win those tank belts. All right, we'll go back home, we'll bench. Let's regroup. Let's go. This is not how tonight was supposed to go. Nation of intoxication, you got in to some killer's business tonight. You got into some business? Danny Havoc! You want to issue a challenge against me? Next month, I accept. Danny Havoc, I don't give a fuck what kind of match it is. You want to cost us the CCW World Tag Team Championships? Danny Havoc, I'm coming for your axe! <laughs> and Connor Claxton, I know that Dave Christ <laughs> is coming for you, too. You're fucking dead, boy. You're fucking dead. Because and Ohio <laughs> is for killers. Team Tremendous, how does it feel for being here in the last year, fighting month in and month out, and finally becoming the tag team champions? You know, we officially debuted in CCW New Heights. Ford made a four-way match last year, and now, like, this is crazy. Like, I can't even describe the feeling. This is amazing. I'm so, I'm so tired. Yeah, it was really hot in there. I'm so tired. Bill almost puked. But you know what, uh, Bill? We did it. I thought the Young Bucks won. No, no, that was heat stroke. You, you almost gave them the belts at the end. I, I figured that they were winning. I blacked out as soon as I walked in the curtain. Well, you've been drinking. Yeah. Yeah, I have. Guys, congratulations. Thank you so much. Hey. Wait, who's talking to us? That's the voice of God, Bill. The voice of God. I love you, God. I love you so much. And fans, we're not done yet. This is still CZW No Disqualifications. I'm your host, Maven Bentley, and we've got another half hour of great matchups. And you're about to watch Alex Reynolds take on John Silver. This is a, uh, 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 you know, a result of what we just saw. That tag team not working out the way they wanted. This is how we settle things in Combat Zone. A no DQ match. Say, hey man, you help me lose, I'm going to kick you behind. And here he comes, yours truly. Yours truly, Alex Reynolds. I mean, just... I don't know what to say about this man, Platts. He is an asshole. Um, but a very talented asshole. He, he uh, you know, Johnny Silver, one of the most fun guys you ever uh, meet. The meat man is sometimes he likes to be called. Um, how do you piss off a guy named the meat man? I mean, I mean that's all I'm going to say. He's hilarious. The meat man. And, and, you, and you pissed him off. Darn you, Alex Reynolds. Darn you, darn you, darn you. Actually, random story. I once called him Alex Riley by accident. Uh, he did not care for that. This is when he was trying out for CZW years and years and years ago. Maybe he used to have a butler that came to the ring and cleaned the ring out because he didn't think the other athletes were, you know, he didn't want them spreading their germs and their sweat on him. Like, you're a wrestler, man. You're going to get sweat on you. It's going to happen. And there he is, ladies and gentlemen, the meat man, John Silver. Uh, number one, I mean, just one of the toughest young men you ever meet. Um, Fun-loving guy, too. I mean, and I've got to say this. John Silver, uh, you know, he gets all the respect in the world from me because he, he is a constant professional and also really cares about the combat zone and actually has had words with me when I've made mistakes in the combat zone. Respectfully, though. Not a jerk about it, but lets me know when I mess up. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It is a letter match for a future opportunity at the Combat Zone Wrestling World Heavyweight Championship. When the bell rings, the official assigned to this matchup is senior Combat Zone Wrestling official, Mr. Nick Papagiorgio. Introducing first participant number one in the corner to my left, fighting out of Long Island, New York, with an official weight of 201 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Alex And his opponent in the corner.
corner to my right, also fighting out of Long Island, New York, with an official weight of 172 pounds, John Silver! John Silver is coming off of a summer where he defeated Hot Fire last month. Defeated Matt Riddle. And now he looks to Alex Reynolds for an opportunity, a future opportunity, at the CZW World Heavyweight title here tonight. Caught him with the European on the way down. So much bad blood between these two, Emil. Oh, my goodness. I, I mean, that, that's putting it very, very mildly. I mean, at one point in time, these two were uh, one of the most successful tag teams that we've had in a long time here in the combat zone. And, you know, as the years went on, as times changed, these two drifted apart. And now it's just all hate when they're here in the combat zone. Big clothesline from John Silver. I think Alex Reynolds to the outside. Now, in order to win this contest, there is a contract suspended from the ceiling here in the Coliseum. One of these guys has to climb a ladder, grab that contract, and they're in for a future opportunity at the CZW World Heavyweight Championship. Hold on, Khalif. He's talking to you. Oh, my gosh. Ow. Yeah. I don't want to feel that at all. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. Me especially, I've got man. Oh, boys. Alex Reynolds, he's, he's, he's looking for salvation of yeah. any sort, anywhere, as this thing has yeah. now spilled into the crowd. Yeah, go that way. Oh. Not. Reynolds now fighting with Silver on the outside. It's like he went for a well, Oh, a back body drop onto the, to the hardwood floor here. Yeah, this is the. Yeah. I mean, any school gymnasium you've ever been in, any basketball court you've ever been on, I mean, at least indoors, hopefully, uh, you know what this feels like. Uh, yeah, it's, 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 it sucks. Mm -hmm. It sucks. You're not supposed to land on something no. like this. The human body is not made for that collision. Not at all, and now these guys are fighting it out and to our crowd area. Yeah, we can't really see what's... Uh, What's going on out there? Like, I see him. Uh, oh. Sounds bad. Yeah, it sounds really, you know. I'm, I'm trying to see. Uh, it, it's still, it still looks like it's Alex Reynolds, Alex Reynolds on the defensive. On Reynolds now making his way toward this, this area and knocking a bunch of chairs down on the way. He's, he's, as, what the hell? This is uh, this has quickly devolved. Oh, jeez! As these guys are now really seriously rearranging furniture here in the outside area. Yeah, they're really close to us too, and yeah. this is making me kind of nervous. Uh, yeah. Silver now situating those chairs, kind of caging in Alex Reynolds, that forearm to the face. And Silver backing the, the barricade up. Yeah, what, what in the world is going through this dude's mind right now? Oh, man. He just sat him down so he could kick him. That sounds so much worse from here. He moved that guardrail so he could move his, get his full leg, extension yeah. of his leg. Oh, man, you can hear it just echoing in. Hey, man, just go with what brought you to the dance. I mean, Silver's known for them. Well, hold on. He oh, is known for those kicks. Oh, but no. He's oh, not no. necessarily known for something like no, this. No, no. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Reynolds just sent Silver head first into that chair. Oh, God. Silver is, Silver is down. It doesn't appear to be bleeding. That's good. Uh, likely very, uh, 
likely concussed at the bare minimum, right? Yeah, absolutely. There's no way Alex that, Reynolds. That, that you can suffer a fall like that and no. not be at the le least bit concussed. No, that chair went straight to the head. Jeez. And Silver just wasting no time getting more weapons into the ring. I mean, Reynolds. I mean, if I'm Reynolds, I'm grabbing that ladder yeah. and I'm scooting up that thing as fast as I can. Absolutely. He, he pulled out a table. Yeah, no, you just get a ladder, go get the contract. But you know what? I, I think I think very much uh, like like the uh, blackout in the the rep match earlier. It's not about the win, right? It's it's about doing some kind of damage. I think Alex Reynolds is actively attempting to put Johnny Silver out of out of the sport. I mean, hold on here. I, I'm gonna. That's a great point. Break the rules and stand on the chair here. Yeah. Well, not, not supposed to do that, but. Good thing I've, uh, I've dropped some weight. I'm now cruiser weight again. Okay, there you go. So keto. Reynolds now bringing, finally bringing a ladder into the ring. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm, I'm surveying what we have uh, around ringside. I mean, of course, we have the uh, chairs inside the ringside area that always exists. But, I mean, we have a ladder set up, on, I mean, a table set up on the outside. Reynolds now. A ladder in the middle of the ring, a, a, a table not set up in the ring. Oh, the clothesline from Reynolds. Reynolds was going for that contract. Well, I mean. I, I, I would hope that's yeah. that's the goal. Yeah, the time to do that was while Johnny Silver was down. Well, that I mean, that's the intended goal of the match. But what the intended goal of the oh. match and what Alex Reynolds' immediate goal may be might be a little bit different. So we hit that ladder pretty hard. And, oh, Dropping the ladder across the back of John Silver is Alex Reynolds. That's more about insulting Absolutely. John Silver than, than anything else. Nothing but straight up disrespect. Absolutely, as Reynolds now lodges that chair between the middle and top rope, top turnbuckle. Hard chop, followed it up with a forearm. And those chops are just scary. John Silver firing her away, but Alex Reynolds able to get that knee into the midsection, oh. up and over. Oh. That That's, table's still out yeah. there. And that table is rather close to the ring, too. Oh, and Reynolds slid through to the legs of John Silver. Oh, man. Short German suplex that time. And, and now uh, Reynolds asking for a chair. Yeah. You know, I, I did say how these chairs are always within the ringside area. That's where the inside security sit. Would you call it Uber weapons? Oh, jeez. What's that? You call it Uber weapons or something like that? Something like that. I don't know. I don't know what comes out of my mouth. <laughs> I, I don't know what goes in my mouth. I mean, it's. All right. Can't ask me questions like that. Oh, oh my man. God. Oh, geez. That... I don't think you're going to be able to ask Alex Reynolds any sort of questions anytime soon. Nah, steel to cranium like that. Jeez. That was vile. Very much so as John Silver now is going to set the ladder up in the corner. I don't... Well, he's, he's certainly not going to be able to get the contract from there. No, I think to your point, I don't think this is about getting a contract. I think this is about setting up to hurt Alex Reynolds. Let's see what the meat man has going. Oh, wait, Reynolds is up. Silver now kicking Reynolds in the face. Oh, oh man. From such a short, oh. oh, he just punched him in the dick. I mean, there's no other way to say it. Wow. And, and I was so impressed with how much impact Johnny Silver was able to get into that little short that kick. Short kick, yeah. yeah. Just a few inches there. And oh, 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 man. Super ace crusher off the top. And both men 
feeling the effects of that one, but I'll tell you what, Johnny Silver is much worse for wear. He's got to be. I mean, Silver, he, he's got to be a little bit dazed after that shot on the outside of the ring. Oh, I'm sure. I mean, neither one of these guys are anywhere close to 100% right now. No, not at all. As Alex Reynolds sets up, it looks like he's going to try to try to make his way over to the contract. Reynolds is uh, moving a bit oh. slowly there. Yeah, it's a little out of reach there. Silver now. She's setting up for Reynolds. Reynolds just burying that elbow into the back of John Silver. Yeah, those downward elbows, those 12 to sixers. Those things are no joke. Not at all. Look at the strength of John Silver. Jeez. Lawn darted him right into that chair. And now John Silver with a hand full of oh. Reynolds and sends him into the chair one more time. Oh, man, dude. More of those heavy kicks. Couldn't imagine just taking any of those. Just split your chest open. It has to. Oh. Head first into the ladder. And Alex Reynolds sent to the outside. I mean, this is this is a golden opportunity for John Silver should he elect to go for it. And it looks like he's mm. going to set up in the corner. I mean, this is typically the, yeah. the position you want to be in a ladder match where your opponent is on the outside of the ring in a in a bad way. But I mean, like we've talked about, the animosity that has built up between these two is really, you know, clouding their mind of the true focus or what the intended focus of this match is. But I'll tell you what, hate supersedes everything else. Absolutely. And the man that wins this contest is going to be the one that can put it to the side and focus. But oh man, Reynolds just stopped himself from going into that ladder hard. Oh, oh, no. Oh, what's oh, Silver going to do with him? Oh, 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 man, hard into the ladder goes Alex Reynolds. The very unforgiving steal that is that ladder. I'll tell you what, the entirety of Alex Reynolds' body has got to be screaming right now. Siri. Oh. <laughs> just got to knock the wind out of your life at that point. Mm. Mm. I, I'm not so sure that uh, Alex Reynolds wants this one more thing, one more time thing to no. go off. Uh oh, oh, into the crane kick stance. Oh, and he took too much time. Well, that was. <laughs> I think Alex Reynolds may have just saved his chest there. Oh man, those. Oh, they're just straight punches. It's like a bar fight, man. <laughs> got, they're just duking it out now. John Silver getting the better of it, just backing Reynolds into the corner. Kicks and punches. Man, John Silver's kicking his ass. <laughs> yeah, that's basically what we're watching. Silver with the chair. Caught it. Oh! And Alex Reynolds came leaping in with the chair over his knee. Doing qu quite a bit of damage to the jaw of Johnny Silver. And now an opportunity for Alex Reynolds to maybe set up that ladder and, and try and make a quick run up to the top. Yeah. 
just a little far away there. Reynolds now slowly, I mean, his body has to be like, as you said, just completely ravaged by pain. Uh, Alex, he's not going to be able to reach that contract from where he's at. No. Oh, and John Silver. Power bomb, sit down, power bomb. From the ladder to the canvas. Sort of like a lager bomb with the way he sat out with it. From the second rung of the uh, ladder there, which is almost about the uh, second second turnbuckle there. Yeah. Just a little bit under it. Yep. That added height gave just enough to, uh, to take Reynolds down for a little while as John Silver goes to meet him on the outside and bashes back in with a chair. Nice. Uh, putting that, putting the chair on top of the table. I, I don't know if he's intending on doing something with that or just uh, put the chair there for safekeeping. For uh, maybe I'll hit him with it again. Well, I just saw the look in John Silver's eyes. I think he's got something planned. Got something cooking now, doesn't he? Absolutely. Sending Reynolds' his face into that chair repeatedly. These former tag team partners, former tag team champion yeah. partners are really taking it to each other here tonight. Silver, he's going for the second rope. And, and Reynolds, oh man, just tossed that chair into the head of John Silver. Reynolds getting out of harm's way. Reynolds getting lucky. Well, John Silver still on that top rope. Oh no. I don't like the way this. Oh, no. no, no, come on. No, no, God, no. No, 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 no. Oh, jeez. Tombstone pile driver from the apron through a table to the hardwood floor. There's not a chance that John Silver gets up. No, this is, this is pretty much textbook at this point. All Reynolds has to do is first collect himself and then make his way into the ring. Just grab the contract and end this. All that is gonna be a lot easier said than done at this juncture in the matchup. I mean, Reynolds' head was just, um, <laughs> as you said, through the table to the hardwood floor. Mm -hmm. I mean, geez. And Alex Reynolds appears to be looking underneath the ring for something. Something else. Something more. What? What's this? Oh, oh. That's, the, that's the big boy ladder. Oh, yeah. That's the one that's going to get the job done. Whoa. This is the Chris Cash Memorial Ladder Match. Last year was the rep and private party. I mean, we've seen a wide variety of types of matches. We've seen four ways before. We've seen uh, high flying. We've seen tag action. But right now, we're seeing nothing but a pure, unadulterated hate fest. Absolutely. I mean, we see another table being brought into the ring. It looks like her. That one was not to the liking of Alex Reynolds. Reynolds now. Getting another table brought into the ring. I mean, there's, <laughs> there's a lot of furniture. Yeah. Yeah, two ladders, like several chairs, several tables.
Wentz now. I'm sorry, Wentz. Reynolds now going to fold up that yellow ladder. There that goes on the outside of the ring. Yeah, I, I don't think that was necessarily the ladder needed to obtain that contract now, now that I look at it. I think that's the just beat the mess out of your opponent ladder. And Alex Reynolds is, uh, he's got a plan. Yeah, he's taking some time here to concoct some sort of, oh man, that ladder's seen better days, hasn't it, huh? Uh, yeah. Well, we have not seen John Silver. Yeah, I mean, John Silver, oh, now he's, He's leaning on the apron. So here, Alex Reynolds is going to make a play at the at that contract. And Silver's Alex rolling Reynolds. into the ring. I mean, I... Reynolds is close. All he's got to do is go up another rung or two, and he's. And Reynolds sees Silver grasping onto the ladder down below. Stops in his tracks and he comes down. Offers a boot to the face. John Silver. Moving the ladder out of the way. Uh oh. Reels that Silver up. Slams him down onto all four chairs piled up near the corner of the ring. To your point, this is a total hate fest. Yeah, this, this isn't about, uh, you know, pretty execution of high-flying moves. No. no. I think something just went through the mind of Alex Reynolds. I think, I think he just got an idea. Alex Reynolds. Going all the way up top. Oh. And John Silver pushes the legs out from underneath of him. Silver and Reynolds now back to back, essentially. Oh, what in the world is this gonna be? Face first on the, the steel chairs. From in a very elevated position. And now Reynolds is down. Silver is setting up that other table. Silver making sure that table is set up and stable. Well, what the hell is he doing with that other one? Oh, he, it, it he's like going to double, double stack. stack. Yeah. Oh. Reynolds is down. That contract is just hanging in the air. As now, I, I don't know if he has the, the arm length to get to that contract no, I, where I, I, he is. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, man. To the floor. Hit hard. John Silver goes. Meanwhile, this leaves Reynolds in the ring with that ladder, that huge ladder. All he has to do is set it up and... And he's got that opportunity. Yeah, at this point, he might just be saying, you know what, let me end this thing. Let me grab this contract and yeah, call it a night. That's smart money. Reynolds making sure he's in the best position to, to grab that contract. He's trying to make sure this ladder don't uh, turn his back on him. Right. Go pursue other interests midway through the climb. Well, he, As, he's got to climb a little quicker. And now John Silver on one side and... And Alex Reynolds on the other.
Both these guys just fighting it out at the top of the rope. That's, oh, no. Reynolds now saving himself from what looked to be an attempt at a choke slam. Oh, no. And those, those, those palm slaps from John Silver. Now both of these guys just fighting each other down. Yeah, that might be their best bet before one of them falls off through either one side to the floor or the other side through oh. some tables. He, I, he almost had it. He had, he had his fingertips on it. Oh! And John Silver just hoisted Alex Reynolds through those tables, and now Silver is at the top of the ladder. Just, just inches away from that contract. Can he reach John Silver? And there he goes. Number one, John Silver is victorious over his former tag team partner in the Beaver Boys, retaining that contract that will give him a shot at the World Heavyweight Championship in a, a future date of his choosing. CZW fans, we have witnessed history here today at no disqualifications. And there's a thumb up. And there's thumb and leg and arm and everything else down because Alex Reynolds just got tossed through two tables. CZW, when we say no DQs, we mean it. We're not just talking about you're allowed to, you know, poke eyes or something. You're going to get tossed through a table here in the combat zone. And damage control, <laughs> trying to get in the ring, sees John Silver coming down and say, eh, maybe we'll wait a second or two. You know, this is an amazing, amazing moment for number one Johnny Silver. His quest to be world champion begins today here in the combat zone. Hey, <laughs> John Silver, not much of a reader. Not going to uh, read the contract. This one's the Flexus Pecs. I'm sure he'll sign it and be happy that he can uh, you know, be champion in the future. Fans, thanks for joining us here at CZW. No disqualifications. We'll see you next time. Until then, visit czwrestling.com. <laughs>